Leftovers. Most people hate that word, but me, I love it. We can reuse something that we've already made or had and turn it into something even better. So today, we're going to do that with salmon. And I have some veggies. And we'll be putting it on top of rice. So let's get started. First, the leftover salmon. This has been frozen, and I'm adding a pinch of salt, and I'm drizzling mirin over it. Make sure you coat everything as evenly as you possibly can. And this is going to marinate for about 10 to 15 minutes. While that's going, let's get started on our vegetables. We need those leafy greens, but not in this case. In this case, we're going to do asparagus. Now you see where I'm cutting? That's where the color green starts turning into more of a tan and brownish kind of color because down there at the bottom where the color changes, it gets really tough and like woody. So I tend to cut about two inches off. For the carrot, we're gonna cut this in half and then do half moons. Because why not? It's my dish. I'm gonna do it the way I want. And so should you. If you don't like half moons like I'm doing here, do it in stars. And make sure you don't cut your fingers. Next, we, we want to cry really hard while making this. So we're going to do a half an onion. And I'm just slicing this following the curvature of the onion. So that way I can just break apart the pieces of onion. I'm doing this fairly thinly. And next, I just cut it in half. Why? Again, because I can. And finally, you need a great big zucchini. So make sure you cut off the ends of this green beast. And like everything else, I'm gonna cut it in half. And we're gonna slice it into half moons. This is going to be so good. And just like in no time at all, we have our veggies cut. Trust me, it took longer than this video shows, but that's the power of editing. This is going to be really delicious. Alright, let's get our rice started. I have one cup of rice. And I'm adding one cup of water. And then we're going to do a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. And then I'm going to put the lid on it, turn the heat to high, and when I start to see bubbles, I'm going to turn the heat down to low, as low as it possibly can go, and set a timer for 20 minutes. Now let's get our veggies in the pan. I'm going to do about two tablespoons worth of olive oil and move it around haphazardly, not really coating the entire bottom of the pan. And we're just going to dump our veggies in there. And like all good home cooks, use your fingers to mix it around. They are impeccably clean after all. Now let's add one and a half teaspoons of chicken bouillon. You could really use any bouillon for this, I just like chicken bouillon, so that's why I did it. And you just sprinkle it all over these veggies. Now let's get back to our salmon. We're going to take it out of the marinade and put it on paper towels. What we want to do is wipe off all the excess moisture 
so it doesn't add to the pan because the veggies are going to secrete their own water. Look at that. Doesn't it look like brains? Mmm, brains. All right, let's get a paper towel on this. We gotta get that moisture off there. And be gentle. Because these salmon were frozen, when I thawed them, they become this sort of texture, this sort of kind of almost mushy texture because of the ice melting in the dethawing process. Now we're putting the salmon on the veggies skin side down. And these, this salmon has been descaled, so it's safe to eat the skin. And I'm trying to arrange them as evenly as I possibly can. And the reason why we're putting the salmon on top of the veggies is the moisture that's going to come out of the veggies is going to poach the veggies and steam the salmon. And we put some butter on each one and slap a lid on it and let it go for 20 minutes at medium low to medium. And there, it ha there you have it. Delicious salmon and its veggies with the fat rendered out of it and butter soaked into it. And here's that perfect rice. After the 20 minutes, we let it steam for another 10 minutes without taking the lid off and kept it off the heat for that 10 minutes. And it's absolutely perfect. Not one grain burnt. Gosh. Don't you wish your rice was hot like mine? <laughs> Alright, let's plate this. I'm putting the salmon and the veggies just right on top of the rice. with my slotted spatula, gorgeous as ever, and we're garnishing with black sesame seeds. And there you have it, a perfect meal using frozen salmon, frozen leftover salmon. Enjoy.